What is going on guys? Welcome back to Pat Outdoors. Today we're gonna to be hopping back on the Yamaha TTR90 electric pit bike conversion. Just wanna get the QS138 motor fully mounted on the frame. So we're gonna fabricate those front mounts. And then we're gonna get the new chain made, measured and installed and have the new Amorge battery mounted on the frame. So let's get started. And here's how I have the motor mounted. I rotated the QS138 clockwise to tuck it into the frame as much as possible. There's maybe a 16th of an inch clearance left. This just maximizes the amount of ground clearance under it. And here's how the tabs ended up looking. Now I'm gonna work on replacing this old crusty chain with a brand new JT428 chain. I ended up making the chain slightly longer than the stock one. Here's the old rusty chain. The new JT black steel chain is about seven links longer. I just used this chain detacher to take out the links to get the length to the ballpark that I needed. And then I can just fine tune this tension with the factory adjustments. If you are interested in checking out any of the items that I'm using for this project, I will leave a link in the description below for everything. I just mocked up a battery tray using some angle aluminum, kind of like what I did for my YZ. And then I applied some JB Weld steel stick on the corners just to keep the form of the battery tray when we pull the battery off. I'm just letting this cure for an hour or so, and then we're gonna drill through each corner and properly secure them together with some 316s rivets. I decided that I'm actually gonna mount the battery sideways like this, as close to this bracket as possible to maximize the amount of space in this area of the frame. I wanna reduce the chances of the front tire rubbing against the front edge of the battery when the suspension is compressed. Here 
Here's how the lower portion of the battery tray turned out. This thing is freaking solid. Here's a general idea of how the battery tray is gonna be mounted. There's two M8 bolts bolted directly to the frame. And then I added a layer of thick, dense foam on the bottom side of the tray, just to absorb any sort of vibrations on the trails and add additional protection for the battery. And then I'm gonna add a third uh, mounting point for the battery tray up here up front, which is gonna loop around this factory tab on the frame. That's just gonna carry a majority of the weight on the front side. All right, guys, well, I got to go do some Father's Day stuff. So this is where I'm going to have to cut it for today. When I come back tonight, I'm going to wrap up the battery tray and figure out where I'm going to mount this far driver controller and also where I'm going to mount the DKD display. I'm thinking of putting it either on the tank or somewhere in the top triple tree. Let me know what you guys think. But if you enjoyed today's video or found it helpful in any way, do me a favor and hit that like button. And if you like this kind of content, want to keep up with the TTR project or my YZ, or any of my other projects, consider subscribing to this channel. But this is gonna be it for today. Thank you for watching.